Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at who or what is coming towards you and what you can expect. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So just keep that in mind. Check out your other placements if this doesn't resonate, your moon, your rising sign. Sometimes those readings can resonate more than your sun sign. All of the playlists for each of the zodiac signs is listed in the description box so that you can check out those other placements and see what other messages there are there for you. All right, for Scorpio, Spirit, Angels, Guides, what messages, guidance do you have for Scorpio regarding love? What can Scorpio expect in love? Here we have the Hierophant Reverse. The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and the Page of Cups reversed. Okay, what can you expect? Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Interesting. The Seven of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck and overall energy, the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so juggling, weighing your options, trying to decide. Um, Something's going on. Uh, we have a Taurus energy here with the with uh, the Hierophant reverse. Something's going on that's not great. Page of Cups reverse, the Hierophant reverse, King of Pentacles. However, the energy I'm picking up is like, it's okay anyway. The Wheel of Fortune is reverse, yes. I'm trying to figure this out, but I'm still satisfied. I still got my wish granted, or I'm still okay at the end of this. So let's see what the heck is going on for Scorpio. Let me get some energies, please, for Scorpio. What do we need to know for Scorpio? What is Scorpio dealing with? Okay, we have transformation, metamorphosis, and renewal, victory lap. Yeah, it's like there's a big change happening, a lot going on for you, but it's okay. We have wedding bells and united. Can I get one more for Scorpio? What's going on for Scorpio? And warm, kind, and affectionate. Okay. So, cooperation and harmony, warm, kind, and affectionate, victory lap. You know, these are great. But then I also have wedding bells and transformation. Hmm. So, it's like something's changing. And it's changing because things are not great right now. I'm going to break break this down. Hang on a second. I'm going to clarify all these energies because something's going on here. And I don't see it right now. I could just feel it. Can I get some more insight clarity for Scorpio? Now, there could be someone involved in a marriage commitment with wedding bells, king of pentacles, the hierophant. But I feel like it goes deeper than that. Because why the transformation? Right? Okay, let's start with this Two of Pentacles. What's this? This is the overall energy. So why is the Two of Pentacles here? What's this about? What can you tell me about the Two of Pentacles? Seven of Pentacles, okay. What can you tell me about the Two of Pentacles? This one. Nine of Cups again. So it's, a, I feel like someone, yeah, someone's in a Five of Pentacles state, but it's like they're being patient or waiting for this Nine of Cups, despite the fact that this is what's what they're experiencing right now. Maybe there's a decision tied to this. It's like, okay, once I make this decision, I'm gonna have my Nine of Cups. Let's see, tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Can I get one more? Queen of Wands. So someone gets to go after, so something that they want someone's bold fearless there's attraction fire energy here aries leo sagittarius so why the hierophant reverse so the hierophant reverse could be a card about a broken commitment something that was stable and structured and now it's you know blocked or there it's been broken um but also the hierophant reverse could be a card about not really conforming not being very traditional kind of rebelling against societal like expectations like what people would normally expect from you 
So let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Hierophant reverse. Why is the Hierophant reverse? Nine of Wands. Six of Swords. King of Swords. So I feel like someone is a uh, bit in a difficult situation and they want to leave. I think this is a commitment that's being broken or it has broken. Yeah, there's the world. Something's coming to an end, but with it comes a new beginning. Again, I get that energy. So tell me about the King of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, the world again, yep. So someone is going after a new opportunity. Seven of Swords, Six of Cups, Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Maybe there's someone else. Maybe there's a person that someone's thinking about even though they're in a commitment. Or maybe someone's thinking about the past, returning to a past or returning to a soulmate. Let's see, tell me about the Page of Cups reverse. Either this is you, Scorpio, making an offer to someone or someone's making an offer to you uh, to begin this new cycle because there is a departure here. Well, why is the Page of Cups reverse? Okay, <laughs> clarify by the Page of Cups and there's the King of Pentacles again. So I feel like it's the same person. Tell me about the Page of Cups reverse. Not only are they bringing you a Page of Pentacles, but also Page of Cups. Yeah, two of cups. So I feel like this is somebody that's coming into your life, Scorpio, or whatever's happening in your life right now, it's allowing you to come forward towards someone else or come towards someone else, I guess I should say. Six of cups showed up, the two of cups is here. This could be a soulmate connection. Um, but what I'm getting more than anything is there's a new beginning here that's starting. And it's because someone's, it's like someone's getting what they've desired or what they've wanted, they're gonna be very happy with the outcome, but they were waiting for it. So either they were waiting for this to be over here with the higher font reverse, or they were waiting for this world. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Yep, Six of Cups. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Someone's going to be very satisfied with this. Eight of Wands. But the Wheel of Fortune is reversed, which tells me, yeah, it's Ten of Pentacles. So someone has an idea in mind of what they want. Scorpio, this could be you. This could be the person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with in the future. They're coming already with a game plan, um, expectations. This person most likely already knows you. Just because I feel like their energy is so focused. Like they already know what they want with you. They want a Ten of Pentacles. But why the Wheel of Fortune reverse? It tells me that there's going to be delays or setbacks here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Why is the Wheel of Fortune reverse? The Lovers. Another card for like a soulmate partnership, Gemini energy. Eight of Swords, the High Priestess, Eight of Pentacles, and the Sun. So I feel like with the Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, it's like there. this is going to take work or effort. What's this? Knight of Cups, Four of Wands. Look at this energy. Someone's working towards something that they already know the outcome of or that they feel like is the ultimate goal. So... This Wheel of Fortune won't be reversed for long. Someone's actively figuring things out, evaluating their choices, weighing their options. You know, what options do I have available to me? How do I get this wish that I so desperately desire? Or, you know, how do I get what I want with Scorpio? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Scorpio, it's like you're getting... Um, 
I don't know. You're having a big change in love. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Nine of Swords. Death. There you are, Scorpio. Once again, an ending. Seven of, I mean, Six of Swords in the higher form reverse. I feel like some something in the world, something is ending. I keep getting this message for other signs too. Death with the world. Four of Wands, and then there's another card about leaving. Eight of Cups. It's like someone's going after this Four of Wands. They're leaving something behind to go after their Four of Wands. And I feel like they're worried with the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. It's like they're thinking a lot about, you know, can I make this happen? What's going to, you know, it's one thing to have a dream. It's another thing to realize it. Tell me more about this world. You could be dealing with, well, there's a lot of signs here. Uh, Taurus, Earth sign, Gemini, Scorpio. Tell me about the world. Ten of Swords. Yeah, exactly. And there's the Ace of Wands. It's an, ex it's with, and you know, I always talk about this on my channel and I feel like people, you know, I guess I shouldn't say that. There's a reason why I harp on about the same things on my channel. <laughs> and in this particular instance, the cards are saying what they, it's confirming the message with different cards that I have on the table, which the message is with an ending is a new beginning. You cannot have the new beginning without the ending. You cannot go into a new beginning with the ending still kind of wrapped up halfway. It, that's not, how cycles work and I always talk about that on my channel but it's I don't think people sometimes understand that you know cycles are not going to happen the way that we want them to happen but the way that they're typically meant to happen which is you're going to be stuck in a cycle learning a lesson until you learn it period if you don't close a cycle behind you you will carry it with you into the next cycle and it will resurface However, some people have learned their lesson or have realized that something needs to be released and they're ready to let it go and fully walk away from it. Six of Swords, Eight of Cups, The World, Death, Ten of Swords. This is an ending, ending with like a capital E, okay? And it's bringing in something new. You're ushering in a new start because something has ended. I hope that I'm not just like beating a dead horse here. I'm just, you know, and I feel like this is allowing a soulmate connection to blossom. Two of cups, the lovers, six of cups. They're all here. So I'm looking at the message as a whole. However, I feel like it's, it's almost like there's still things that are being wrapped up. That's why the Seven of Cups is here. That's why the Two of Pentacles is here. And the Wheel of Fortune is reversed. This is taking some time to really, truly come together. Because ending things, releasing, letting go, walking away is not easy. It takes time. It takes effort. You know? emotional effort energetic effort right so i feel like this is taking some time to develop but what's on the other side is absolutely beautiful so let's find out about this person that you are or might be dealing with what do we need to know about this person that scorpio is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this person Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? Oh my gosh, the Four of Wands again. The Five of Wands and the Nine of Wands reverse. So once again, that energy of some sort of obstacle or battle that someone is overcoming. I also feel like someone's fighting for this. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords River. Someone waking up, taking action. They've done all of the healing and reflecting that they need to do, and now they're taking action. 
Scorpio, I still don't know. I feel like a lot of you have a history with whoever it is you're going to be with. If you don't have a history with this person, if this is not an ex, it's a past life relationship. Someone that you already are connected to in some way. Because this feeling of a soulmate is very clear here. However, it hasn't been without struggles. I want to get one more. Two of Wands reverse. Yeah, it, it's 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 a path that someone is choosing. It's it's a choice that someone's making to have this Four of Wands. It's not just something that just happens. So either someone's thinking about a Four of Wands with you, or you're thinking about a Four of Wands with them. Maybe you've manifested this. Maybe this is something that they've realized that they want. Maybe this is someone that's leaving a, a connection that isn't working or a way of thinking that has kept them stuck. Maybe they've cared a lot about what others think. Maybe they've cared a lot about appearing like they're doing the right thing in society's point of view. But they're overcoming that. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Scorpio? What else do we need to know? How about this person's energies towards Scorpio? What else do we need to know? Even though we are apart, our souls are united. Exactly. There is a soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. Your souls are united. We are soulmates, fell out. I mean, come on. I cannot make this up. What's this? We have known each other before. Are you freaking kidding me? Pretty much like all my cards about soulmates are here for, from this um, Stellar Soulmate deck. All of the soulmate cards have shown up here, basically. I think I only have like one more. So, um, yes, this is your divided, divided, divine divinely guided <laughs> partner this is a soulmate that you're going to end up being with you know we have here united you know you're coming together you know this is this is victory this is success this is a transformation that's happening in love otherwise i'll leave it here scorpio thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.